Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Their names come in unison. You can't have one without the other. They shared the court together for 10 long years, capturing six championships and giving us, the fans, some of the greatest moments in basketball. We know these two as teammates, but once, just once, these two went head to head with each other in an NBA game. That goes all the way back to 98, after the Bulls captured their sixth and final championship, and Scotty and Jordan were forced to go their separate ways after the front office made the decision to rip the team apart and rebuild. Michael, with no interest in this plan, retired, while Scotty was shipped off to Houston in a sign and trade deal. Today, we know both these things didn't last. In January of 2000, Jordan made his return to the NBA, but not as a player, as a part-time owner after purchasing a portion of the Wizards franchise and being named their president of basketball operation. Working in such an atmosphere built a certain desire within Jordan to make a return to the NBA and play the game he loves. And in 2001, after rigorous training in the spring and summer months, on October 30th, 2001, Michael Jordan made his return to NBA basketball, making his debut for the Washington Wizards. Scottie Pippen, on the other hand, was a Portland Trailblazer, making it the first time in NBA history these two weren't playing side by side with each other, but against, as competitors. This was a hyped affair. Scotty vs Mike, Robin finally meeting Batman on the court, and the stages were set for February 27th and March 16th of that year, a two installment battle till Jordan tore the cartilage in his right knee, forcing him to miss both games against the Blazers and postponing the Scotty vs Mike matchup for another season. <laughs> The 02-03 season would be Michael Jordan's very last. He planned to retire at season end, making the window of opportunity of him sharing the court with Scotty as competitors extremely small. But it finally happened after a year-long wait on December 10th, 2002. And it was extremely disappointing. Don't get me wrong, the game did have its moments. In the third, you see them both dive at a loose ball, and throughout the game, you see them engage in banter. But it fell very short of what we wanted. The two rarely guarded each other, and there was no crazy back and forth. The game wasn't even close, with the Blazers up all game, and handing the Wizards a 19 point loss. Jordan, who averaged 20 this final season, came out on Jordan like, only putting up 14 in this hyped contest and being thoroughly outplayed by Pippen, who also scored 14, but on 6 of 7 shooting, while showing flashbacks of his prime self. This would be the only time these two would play in an NBA game as competitors, as Pippen was forced to miss their last and final matchup to injury. This is footage from a 1994 All-Star charity game, hosted by Scotty Pippen. This event not only brought together some of the best NBA players to come out and compete with each other, but also brought out Michael Jordan, who was then retired for 15 months, to come compete in front of a sellout crowd one last time in Chicago Stadium, a stadium soon to be torn down. What's amazing about this is the last ever game to be played in it was between two players who made this arena wildly popular. A story ending, a prime Michael Jordan going head to head with a prime Scottie Pippen to close the stadium out. And it did not disappoint. Much of this game was these two going at each other, playing some tough rugged defense and scoring buckets. The battle went so far that the final minutes of the game became a one on one affair between Pippen and Jordan. Little grudge match going, and they playing no cat and no mouth game right now. As you see, he work out on Scotty. Oh, that's one of the things you don't want to see. Oh, 
know, they got a little cat mouse game going right now where they want to go at each other. So they should just let everybody go at them. Everyone clear out and let Scotty and MJ go at them. That'd be a one-on-one, -on -one, Bulls versus Bulls. With the game over, these two hugged it out, and Jordan kissed the Bulls insignia one last time, having scored 52 points on 24 of 46 shooting in the victory, while Scotty scored a strong 24 points in his team's defeat. It was the only time we as fans got to see these two players in their primes face off. They've always come in unison together, you will say basketball all-star games, and obviously as Bulls. So it is still really weird, even to this day, to think these two suited up in two different jerseys and faced off as competitors. It was truly a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle, a sheer beauty to watch, and I urge you all to check the full game out. This is Earn Your Ranks, where we only talk about Ball, signing off.